Welcome to First Issues. A few episodes back, we were in conversation about risk management during and post COVID 19 with Chief Risk Officer at First National Bank of Botswana, Lesoro Banaloti. Simply put, risk is essentially the possibility of something bad happening. An example could be in the instance where a company trains an employee through paid seminars, workshops and sometimes education, but only for that employee to be poached by another company after that much investment. While these are situations that are common in the corporate space, they can be avoided by regularly reviewing the terms and conditions of such employee benefits which, in other words, can be referred to as risk assessment reviews. Lesoro says companies should review their risk management strategies at least twice a year. Our conversation this evening continues with the Chief Risk Officer on what some of the blind spots that warrant attention are. Some of the blind spots that I have seen come out quite a lot um, are very much hinged around uh, people and also focusing internally within a company where um, companies only look at um, what their business um, is focused on instead of looking at external factors that actually influence the business that you have. Um, I'll give an example. Um, if you have an, um, a company and most of your customers work in another organization and that organization is laid off, um, lays off its employees, that are, and those employees happen to be customers of yours, that is going to have an indirect impact on you, a direct impact on you, even though the incident has actually happened indirectly. So it's important that you're always consistently and always aware of external factors. It's also very important that companies must ensure they focus on the human touch. So with risk management, we've seen that um, it's very important to also bring in human resources because an employee's well-being can also contribute as a risk factor to an organization. So with um, the lockdowns and COVID-19, there's been quite a lot of mental health illness and mental stress, which may have led to breakdown in processes in certain organizations or maybe even impacted the morale and performance of staff. This can lead to risk and a risk of breakdown in processes. It's important that organizations have holistic views. So these are some of the blind spots that are there. And the key message is ensure that you're aware of external factors. And when you look internally, make sure that you also include the human factor. Could you please give us a key prerequisite um, that is necessary for a company to effectively manage risk? It's important that um, risk management be seen not as an impediment, but as a value add to the organization. Um, risk management needs to be pitched at the right level needs to have the right level of support from the board as well as across management so that there's proper buy-in through all employees that are within the organization. There also needs to be investment in risk tools to ensure that there are proper processes to actually manage and handle risk. It's important that there's proper clear lines of accountabilities. So risk managers are not responsible for or should not be responsible for managing risks of the organization. They sit within the second line of defense. The person who's actually doing the work needs to be very diligent because that's the person that who can bring the risk into the organization. I'll refer again to the example I gave about the cashier in a supermarket. If the cashier is not um, paying enough attention and actually receives less cash than is supposed to be for a product that has been sold, that is a risk and already that is a loss to the company. So it's their responsibility as first line of defense to make sure that they adhere to the processes that have been laid down by the company to ensure that there isn't a loss. Someone such as a risk manager is actually not there when that is happening. So it's very important that every employee um, is aligned and understands what their role is in terms of risk management. Lissara, so COVID-19 is here, um, which is possibly the biggest risk right now and we've seen some companies exit the market some corporates are barely surviving and some are actually now history so were these companies caught off guard and what happened to their risk intelligence units pandemics have been around for quite a while and um, this might be the most severe that our generation is actually experiencing but throughout all organizations, you need to have a risk management framework and risk management strategy. This includes having business continuity manage plan, management plans 
and also ensuring that you have business um, resilience um, plans in place. So your business continuity management plans should not just look at IT breakdowns as an example, as was traditionally done, but they also need to factor in other scenarios such as your pandemics. And these scenarios also have to be simulated and stress tested to see what contingency plans can be in place. So it's important for organizations or all companies to ensure that they have crisis teams in place. You need to have a crisis management plan as well as a crisis team, regardless of whether there is a crisis or not. COVID has also shown us that it's very important to be agile. You may have plans that you've put in place but a lot can change. But how you respond and adapt is um, going to be the key differentiator for you. It's important that we don't lose focus of the human touch. Um, there's a lot of stress and there's a lot of anxiety. One must, not o must always be cognizant of what is happening with their staff or their employees. This, however, does not mean that we must not question process breakdowns, but we need to also set our people up for success. We also need to be mindful of the fact that um, we need to still conduct our businesses in an ethical manner. So we need to ensure that governance is followed, which is why a risk assessment of processes needs to be done, even if it's done after the fact, so that we can validate and correct where necessary. Um, I also encourage a lot of companies to look at automation or digitization. And the digitization should not just be to solve for your customers, it's also about how do you ensure that you improve the ways of working, how do you improve and enhance your risk tools so that can be more effective. Um, as risk, it's important that we also lead the change that is happening around us. So by digitizing, we are also ensuring that we contribute to that. And um, I just want to add that resilience is also very, very important in this era. Um, we have seen um, resilience tested not just for organizations, but also in our personal capacities uh, as people. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that um, we look at how do we ensure that we have the right strategies in our personal lives, as well as with the businesses that um, we are associated with. And the key question there is to say, is my business resilient enough, or the organization that I'm working for, is it resilient enough to survive this pandemic or any other crisis that may happen? And lastly, I just want to add that it's important to also keep smiling. Um, even amongst the chaos because you will not be able to plan for every risk eventuality or everything that will go wrong. So at some point you also have to be, you have to pause, be kind to yourself and just shut out the noise and say this is what I can focus on, this is the most critical thing and this is what I'm going to do.